this is Dave Kalstrom with Outbound Excellence and uh, welcome to our series Spotlight on Technology. And today we have with us Bob Bartle, the founder and CEO of Bartle Research and also the inventor of the Bartle Meg Probe, which is a revolutionary non-contact method of testing electrically operated solenoid valves and relays that are 99% faster than a voltmeter. Thank you very much, Dave. It's my pleasure to be here. And it isn't often that we have this opportunity to present uh, our new inventions that, that uh, are revolutionary in any, any field. But I really appreciate it and thank you very much. You're welcome. Bob, introduce us to the Meg Probe and tell us what some of the main advantages are of the Meg Probe over a Volt or an Ohm tester. Thank you, Dave. Well, the main advantages are speed. And if you look at this little relay here, it's an ice cube relay. Now, these are used throughout industry. And the example I have here to give you is with the elevators. There may be 50 or 100 of these in one elevator and when you open the panel to test it, it's just thousands of wires to test, to check. If you do it with a voltmeter, how, are you going to, how would you find the correct wire behind it? You have to go to a schematic and find out wire number so-and-so on such-and-such -such a relay, which you see all little contacts yeah. behind here. Now you take the voltmeter and you measure the voltage. Now you read the voltage if you get that far. It takes a long time to find it on the schematic and then check it and you take a reading. Even if you took a reading, you don't know if there's current through the coil. Now if you take a voltmeter, a uh, mag probe, you hold it right up to the relay. There's this, can you imagine, 50 of these together with all the wires behind. There's a panel right in here and behind this panel you look and there's all these thousands of wires. Now I want to check this relay and see if it's energized. Now you see that light come on? Right there. That's what it takes. That's how long it takes. Just a second. And once you get the spot on all these little mice cube relays, you know where to go on each one. Now I've checked it in one second. What it normally takes the voltmeter, and still, even if you get a voltage measurement, you're not sure there's, you don't know if there's current through the coil. If you wanted to do that, you'd have to com completely power off the elevator and pull a relay out and make a resistance check across the coil, which is not good because sometimes you can make a, you can detect a, a resistance in it, which is correct, and then you plug it in with power and it opens. It doesn't work anymore. It, it, it breaks the circuit. But with these ice cube relays, as specifically, that illustrates what it can do. So you've eliminated a downtime of an elevator from anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour to make sometimes two hours to find the problem with the old method with this, you do it one second. 